everybody it is that time of year again where i show you what i got for my birthday this year now it is a few days after my birthday now my birthday was on the 4th of march and i was 24 and although it was a birthday i kind of dragged it out over four days so it was more of a birth week but i feel like that's what everyone does these days so it's sort of acceptable i actually have already filmed this video once but my cat kept trying to jump out the window as you can see here <laughs> oh my cat's just jumping out the window no 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 no, 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 okay, stay alive. Sully, seriously. Sully, Ugh. And also, I was so rambly and I thought I looked so horrible and when I came to edit it, I was like, you know what, scrap this, let's just start again. I got my party hat on and I'm ready to show you what I got. So we will start with mum. The first thing my mum got me was my new vlogging camera. So I finally got the Canon G7X Mark II. I am obsessed with it. I've wanted it for such a long time and I finally got it and I'm loving the quality of it. I think I've filmed two vlogs on it so far. It's known to be like the vlogging camera. So I, I feel like a proper YouTuber when I film on this. <laughs> now, my aim for this year is to really improve the quality of my videos, which is why the second present that she got me is a head cam for my GoPro. Now I've had a few ideas of videos and I think that having like a point of view angle would be really really cool. I know that I look like a right plonker when I'm wearing it but you've got to think of the shots. Just think of the shots and it doesn't matter what you look like. <laughs> Okay, so on to my dad. This year, my dad bought me a pair of Doc Martin boots. Now, some of you may have seen in my vlog from January. I actually got them in January. I went down to the shop in Brighton to get them and I absolutely love them. I am not exaggerating when I say that I've worn them every single day since I got them. I've almost broken them in. There's only one part that is still rubbing on me a little bit, but I'm obsessed with them. I wear them with absolutely everything and they just look awesome and I just feel like a cooler human being when I'm wearing them. <laughs> My nanny and granddad this year gave me some money towards a new printer to get my Etsy shop up and running. They are literally my biggest fans and when I send them one of my homemade cards, I think they keep them all. I'm pretty sure my nanny keeps them all somewhere, but she loves them and the fact that my printer is broken and it's not cut out for printing cards. So I've ordered a new one and actually really exciting, it arrived about five minutes before I started uh, filming this video. So as soon as I finish, I'm gonna go and test it and print some cards and see how it is. So that is a massive help and I can't wait to get my Etsy shop but back up and running. My sister bought me a new hairdryer for my birthday. I had been using the last one for the last four years and it just didn't work very nicely. It made a horrible noise. The fuse blew if I used it for more than like five minutes and uh, it just didn't make my hair feel very nice. So I asked for a new hairdryer, which she got me. She also got me a lovely Tresemme spray to go with it, like a sleek, smooth, styling spray thing and the last thing she got me was a gorgeous mug that says the word genius on it now i mentioned this really recently but i don't actually drink hot drinks but i'm obsessed with mugs like i really really appreciate a good mug so that's what my sister got me dan and craig went for the safe options and they both got me a gift voucher so dan got me a gift voucher for amazon and craig got me a gift voucher for marks and spencers which by the way is currently where i'm buying all of my clothes so on to ellie now and uh, not only did he buy me my favorite ever chocolates which are the Charbonnel and Walker pink champagne truffles but he is taking me to Paris in June I am so excited bless him it, last year he nailed my present we went to something called secret cinema which is where they put you in a film and we did the Moulin Rouge version which was based in a place in Paris called Montmartre and I think it's so amazing that last year my present was like Montmartre in London and this year we're actually going to stay in real Montmartre in Paris so I cannot wait I'm super excited I want to wear matching stripy tops and berets with him I still have yet to convince him that it's a good idea uh, but I will and I have time before June so um, really looking forward to that Elliot's parents actually got us our flights out there so that was their present to me for my birthday uh, they got our flights Elliot and I are actually going to Paris a couple of weeks after we get back from a family holiday with the Hardings where we're going to Spain so June is gonna be like a real holiday month for me and by the time I go to Paris I'm hoping to have like a nice little tan from our Spain holiday Should um, Elliot Monchetti. <laughs> Elliot's sister Shannon and her husband Jordan and of course Frank and the bump. I don't know if I've even told you on my channel yet but uh, Shannon is pregnant again so we're expecting another little nephew or niece, we're not sure which yet. Uh, really really exciting and I cannot wait, cannot wait to meet them. But uh, for my birthday they got me a gorgeous candle from Next. I have it lit in my bedroom uh, at night and it makes my room smell lovely. And not only that but they got me a load of chocolate as well because the whole Harding family kind of think that I run on chocolate I think, which I pretty much do. And I've already uh, cracked into them too. <laughs> 
Now, my friend Phoebe is next, and it is tradition that on our birthdays we get each other alcohol. So, until now, it has been I get her gin and she gets me vodka, because that's kind of our go-to spirit. But we had a conversation recently where I said that I wanted to get into gin, and so this year for my birthday, she bought me this crazy elderflower gin, and I'm so excited to try it. And I don't know yet what mixer I'm gonna have with it, because I'm not the biggest fan of tonic, but I'm sure I'll find something, and I'm really, really looking forward to trying that. My friend Gabby got me a lovely little, she kind of got me hippie presents this yeah, I don't know if she thinks I'm a hippie or what, but I love them regardless. First up was an incense burner, so she got me the incense sticks and the little burner, which is a tiny little camel, and I love it. I've had it on in my room, uh, it makes it smell amazing. Uh, but that was a lovely present. And the second hippie present that she got me was this cute little ugly doll thing. I don't even know how to describe it, but I'm absolutely in love with it. And currently it's hanging on my wardrobe as just a little decoration in my room. And last but not least was my neighbour Gemma. She made me this lovely little bag of goodies, most of which were um, food related, but in there was a plant your own basil plant, and I tried to grow tomatoes last year, and it wasn't the biggest success, so she said I should have another go, and I got a basil plant, and we've named it Baz, naturally, and I said I would keep her updated with it, and that when it does have actual leaves, she can come round and we can make pizzas with fresh basil on top, and I'm looking forward to that very much. So that was everything I got for my birthday this year. I know that I am thoroughly spoiled. I mean, my dad reminds me all the time, but I'm very aware of it. And uh, yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who did um, say happy birthday or send me a card or get me a Prezi. Um, cards are my absolute favourite. Lots of you sent me messages on Instagram and Twitter, and that was really sweet of you. So thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you for watching this video. I am now going to go downstairs and set up my new printer. And I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.